So before we can end up using sessions, we have to have a way to persist those sessions, and we're going to end up doing them with cookies. So let's just take a look at something here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell my response. One thing I could do with my response is I could end up setting a header. Um, and these headers are used for different things, but this, the header that will end up setting a cookie has to be done with set cookie. And what I could do is I could give a name value uh, pair here. And I'm going to refresh this. And if I go over here and I refresh this, I will see that this cookie will end up showing up. Not only will it end up showing up here, but every time that I end up making a request here. So if I go over here and I look at my network, once that cookie ends up getting set, so I am looking at the response where I'm setting a cookie. And then when I end up making a request, that cookie will end up also getting sent over the wires. So let's refresh and take a look here. So if I look at the request header, I'll see that cookie is being sent over. And just to sort of show you this, these end up going over as basically just um, strings that are URL encoded, although it's a little bit different here because if you look at this cookie, it's basically just a string that ends up getting uh, basically separated by a semicolon. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to want to set a cookie uh, if a cookie doesn't exist, and I'm going to use that cookie to end up tracking uh, the session. So I'm going to start kind of low level here, just building a cookie parser here. And again, if I do a console.log, I could end up looking at the request.headers and one of the things that I could end up grabbing, because this comes over as a header, and if I end up refreshing this, I'll see that I could see this string, which is this cookie. And just to be clear about this, if I look at this and say type of, I'll see that it's a string. And what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of parsing here. So uh, what I'm going to end up doing is I'll go over here and I'll say... Um, cookies equals request headers dot cookie and just in case there aren't any cookies here I'm just going to do an empty string here and what I'm going to end up doing with this I'm going to take these cookies and I'm going to end up splitting them and they're actually being split by a semicolon and a space here and so this is going to end up giving me an array and so I'm going to take this array and I'm going to use reduce here. I'm going to have an accumulator and I'm going to have this, basically this pair of values here. And what I'll end up doing here is that uh, I'm going to take these cookies and I'll go over here and I will uh, now take my accumulator, and let's actually do this. We'll say parts equals pair, and we'll split this with an equal sign, and we'll say our accumulator, this is going to be two values. Actually, let's just do a little destructuring. We'll go over here, we'll say key value, and we'll say the accumulator dot key is going to be equal to value, and we'll console.log, excuse me, we'll return the accumulator. So this is just an easy way for me to deal with uh, my cookie here. And let's just console.log this cookie. So here we've got a value for foo, which is bar, and fizz, which is buzz. And just to be sort of clear about this, let's just go over here to our application. Hello world will be another one. And we'll go up here and we'll see that these are our cookie values. Now the only value that we're going to be interested in, and again, this is totally arbitrary, but I'm going to be interested in a value uh, for 
uh, a session ID. So I'm going to go over here and I'll say, uh, I'm going to make this a let for the moment. And I'll say my session ID is going to end up being my cookie session ID. Okay? And we'll test to see if we end up getting this value. Let's call this session ID. Let's console.log the session ID. And if I refresh here, I'll see that this is going to be undefined. So the next thing we'll do, we'll end up setting it. So here, if we have a session ID, great. But if we don't have a session ID, what I want to end up doing here is I actually want to set one. So I'm going to tell my response now to set, and I'm going to use what we ended up using before, which was set cookie. And now I can put some values here. And what we'll do here is we'll say, look, we didn't have it before. Let's do a session ID. We'll just do a random number. And we'll go in here, and now we want to have this as a cookie. So I'll say session ID, and again, I'm using my template literal here. This will be my session ID that I just ended up creating. And when we end up getting down here, what we'll end up doing is we'll say, hey, look, we're going to have this object that we're going to keep in memory. This is going to be where we're going to store all the sessions. And we'll go over here and we'll just ask the question. We'll say, hey, look, can we find a session for this session ID? Either we had one in a cookie or we don't. And we'll say, if in fact we have an object here, great, we'll use it. If not, we'll end up creating a new object. Then the last thing we'll do is that instead of making a new session object every time, we'll go over here and we'll say session ID. Now, one way we should be able to see whether or not this works, let's just make sure we don't have any errors here. And if I refresh this page, what I should end up seeing is that I'm going to have a session ID, and it should be the same session ID every time I end up going here. If I delete this, I'll get a new session ID, but it's going to be sticky because, again, it's going to be going across the wire as long as I ended up setting it at some point. And as long as I continue to send it, I will end up having that cookie. That cookie will end up identifying the user, and that should actually be enough for me. Now I've got a request.session. I've got an object that now I'm storing somewhere. I'm sort of keeping track of state over here, and now this would give me the ability to log in as Lucy, and if I refresh, I'll see I'm staying there as Lucy. If I get rid of the session, and again, we'll eventually put a logout link, I could log in as Mo, all right? And so all I did here is I'm using cookies now to establish the session.